If you want to execute any trade, follow these three steps and your trading results will change maybe from 50% to 70%. Hi guys, my name is Esther Mofri. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to show you how to trade multiple time frame. And in this case, I'll be using only two time frame. I will use daily time frame and I will use four hour time frame. This is our daily time frame. The number one thing, the first step, the first step guys that you want to check when you open your daily time frame, you want to know the structure of the market. Let me just write it here. You want to know the structure of the market. What is the structure of the market? So sometimes if you don't understand the structure of the market, you will get confused. So that is our first step. You need to know the structure of the market. Is it a downtrend? Is it an uptrend? What is the story behind everything? Even before I do anything, I know this market is on a downtrend. That's the structure of the market. So guys, if you want even to be more accurate, I will I will give you the, the beginners. I'll tell the beginners, just use 200 EMA. So if we put the 200 EMA on this daily time frame, of course, the market is below the 200 EMA. And if it is below the 200 EMA, what do you expect? The market is a downtrend. So this market is still bearish. And because it is creating high, uh, low lows and low highs, low lows and low highs, low lows and low highs. And now we are on this low. Guys, we are on this low. So if this market decides to, cut, to have a pullback to like rest, where do you think the market will approach? For me, I already know if this market wants to take a break, for like, a, like a pullback, it will start coming, it will it will be coming to the 200 EMA. So I keep in mind our market, the structure is a downtrend and the market is has reached an exhaustion phase because how do I know it has reached an exhaustion place because of these weeks? For so many days, the market has not been able to break this place. So the two, two things can happen. It can be a reversal or it can, it can be a pullback. So I keep in mind that our market is on a downtrend and it can be doing a pullback or a reversal and the first target is this zone so what do i do let me delete everything i'll just put my line there so if i'll ever buy uh on the lower time frame i cannot i cannot target beyond that line so guys that is what even governs me so let's go to step two step two you'll go to four hours so let's go to four, four hours and we see how our 200 EMA, be, uh, the, the behavior. So step two is the behavior of the market. So uh, on four hour, already we know the structure is downtrend. Now we want to know the behavior of the market. You can see uh, on four hour, the 200 EMA was tested once. So we hope the market will still come here and maybe break this to come to this zone to now match with the daily. I don't know if you're understanding. The black line is where, if we want to buy this market, that is where the market can pull to, the pullback can come to that place, but yet we don't have even more confirmation. So the behavior of the market, the first behavior I can notice here, the market had touched the 200 DMA on four hour. So for me, I would want to, to see the behavior again happening and then finally going to the to the to the black line where is the 200 EMA on the daily that's how we we got the black line so what i do let me again delete everything go to day no let me uh delete this i delete these circles and then now i show you what to do so um if we, if now we want step three the entry step three guys is the entry you have known the structure you have known you have known the structure of the market you have known the behavior because at this time the market has refused to to go down even if it's a downtrend the market it's like it is not moving from this zone so you even if it's a downtrend you cannot come and put a sale we want to put ourselves on this black line that's where we think the market can pull back and then react to our sale and then the sale continue but we cannot sell here so number three is our entry the step three is entry so how do you get entry on four hour 
I'll just tell you guys, just use 20 MA. The minute the market breaks the 20 MA, you will target the, the 200 EMA on a uh, four hour. The minute four, uh, four hour breaks the 200 EMA, now you target the black line. I hope you understand what I mean. So let me just put the 20 EMA. So you can see as long as the market is below 20 EMA, I cannot even think of buy because again, I've told you the structure of the market is a very strong sell, but we are not thinking of selling at this zone. Either the, the zone is broken. If the zone is broken, we can continue sale, no problem. So if, for instance, the zone gets broken, it retests, we'll continue with the sale. But if this zone, if this support is not broken, we are not entering sale. But we can think of selling on this black line. Because on daily, it will be like a pullback, guys. And that's how you use different multiple time frame. Like, so... For me, for an entry, I'll just observe how the 200 EMA, uh, the 20 EMA behaves and my goal will be the two, 200 on the 4 hour. So let's, let's pray, uh, let me play the, the, the button so as we can see what really happens. So I just want to see that, uh, that 20 EMA closing. So that is what I want. The market closed above this is four hours guys the market closed above the 20 ma so for me first entry it will be my target will be this this is where i'm targeting and uh, let me tell you that's uh so if that's where i'm targeting that's my target so let me put um long position because it has closed immediately that candle closes uh i put a position there and then now we target that uh 200 dma so my stop loss will be let me tell you how many pips are those we have we are targeting 110 pips almost 100 and 111 our stop loss is that low so guys the reason why i executed a buy it's because i have a clear indication on a structure of the market structure of the market on daily time frame i'm expecting a pullback so guys i'm trading a pullback i'm trading a pullback so uh let's play uh the the, the price and see what really happens so the market still uh, broke the 20 EMA and our first target is the 200 EMA of course on four hours and I am so sure that I am double sure that I cannot target any further so I'm just targeting in the market and the price has hit our TP so guys all along the two, the daily time frame had done one thing it was just giving us to the point where we can target a buy which is a pullback so for me i will wait again if the the market breaks the two, the if the market breaks the 200 ema on four hour to target now my dark line so my dark zone so let me see if we that was a winning trade that was a winning trade um so my entry level is 220 ema that's what i've used so of course the candle has broken the two that the, the um, 200 EMA. Let me see the next candle. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 I am waiting for a big candle to break that zone so that I can enter the market. So the market is like resisting. So that's what happens. Uh, immediately the market resisted on, on this place. There are people who enter immediately. If it breaks, remember it was tested one, tested twice, but I want this big momentum candle. So this big momentum candle, this is what I, I mean. You want to see this market coming all the way here. So we want to see, we lead retest, we lead retest back to this zone for us to get an entry. So let's play back and see. So the market still, um, it has it has created a zone. So immediately this happens, and um, the sell uh, the, the the sellers trying to come in, and um, you see like they want to to retest, but they don't they don't. You can either do two things. You can put a buy stop there. If it breaks, it executes your trade, take profit here. 
or you can enter if this cell now get rejected. So let's see. Mm -hmm. So it's approaching our zone, exactly. So my entry level will be here. This cell seems not that stable. So I'll just get into the cell, uh, into the long position with that candle. Profit is all the way to that. And that place I got it from daily. So my low, I can, my stop can be that low. So the reason why I'm targeting this is because I got it on daily time frame, guys. Remember, I got this line on daily time frame. So let's play and see. So the markets uh, will try to push, try to push. So let's see what happens. Immediately, there's a crossover. So if it, it, if we'll have a pullback, the market, I don't know if you can see. Let me make this uh, a bit clear so that you can see. So immediately, the market will start coming back to this 20 EMA if it will do a pullback. So let's play and see. So this trade, you can leave it and uh, you come back to check what is happening. So you can see the first. So if, I, if you want to do another entry, that can be the second entry, guys. When this 20 EMA is touched, you can put another entry. So you can have two entries. Of course, there you can have. So if you have, it has touched the 20 EMA. See how now it has it is away from the 200. If it touches the 20 MA, give us a bullish candle, we can have a second entry. See guys, so immediately it has touched our 200, our 20. The red one present 20. You can see what has happened. Immediately it has touched the 20, it has this pullback. So if you wanted to enter second position, you could have entered here. You could not have waited all these four hours. You could have entered with this candle, with this candle. So you, maybe you go to lower time frame, enter buy. So let's continue and see what happens. So uh, there, at that moment, you have two entries. So my 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 desire here is to see: will it touch the black line? That's what we want to see. Will it touch the black line? So the market is pulling back and these are so many days of waiting. So these are the trades that you just leave them and then you, 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 you are patient because you know the market will come here. So guys, now you here you could have a third entry. Now this was the first entry. Your first entry was here. Let me show you. First entry was with this candle. Where was our first entry? That candle. So that was our first entry. Second entry, third entry. You see? So you can go adding more positions as you continue. So we have three entries already. And these are three steps. So you can continue adding in positions. And remember, guys, position one, one position one and two, they are at even. So let's see what happens. If this high is broken, the market will continue. If that high is broken, the reason why the market is coming down and exactly that high has been broken and our TP has been hit. So guys, this is what I was saying. You see? Our TP has been hit. So these are three steps of, of entry, of getting the three steps that can change your trading results with very high percentage. The reason that you, the, the time you understand what is happening on daily, this market can be, it was just coming to retest. You have done all what you were, all what you have gained from this market might be a pullback and now the market can wants to go down if we if we if we go to daily you can see what has happened see 
the market came to where I was telling you. So we can maybe all this that you are trading was a pullback because you see the market is still downtrend. It's under, it's under 200 DME. So guys, that's what I have come to realize. If you identify the daily time frame and what is happening, the structure, we didn't, even if we were even if we were buying this market, we knew where we cannot go beyond. Even if we were buying this market, we knew our structure, it's, it's still a sale. We are just doing a pullback. We are just getting involved with a pullback. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have understood. I hope it is clear how you can uh, use the three steps to get entries in any market. As long as you know the structure, as long as you understand what is happening, you cannot be limited in the market. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.